Now, China may have gained the upper hand in the battle against the coronavirus. However, the impact of the pandemic has put the second largest economy in the world under a lot of pressure. Now, China's exports saw a sharp decline in the month of May as global demand continues to be very weak. And countries are now trying to push for a revival of what is essentially domestic trade and domestic service sectors. The consecutive drop in exports is a sign of worry for the world's second biggest economy which is likely to mount pressure on policymakers to support its manufacturing sector. The demand of the Chinese products has slumped in overseas markets and as a result, livelihoods of more than 180 million people has been impacted. Now, according to a report by news agency Reuters, China's overseas shipments in the month of May fell by about 3.3% from a year earlier after a surprising 3.5% gain that was witnessed in the month of April. The one bright spot has been the export of medical supplies, of which China has dominated the supply chain. In the first half of the month of May, China shipped nearly about 63 billion yuan worth of medical supplies. While exports have fared slightly better than expected, imports have tumbled by nearly about 16.7% compared with a year earlier, worsening from a 14.2% decline the previous month and also marking the sharpest decline since January 2016. As a result, China has also posted a record trade surplus of about $62.93 billion last month. This is the highest since Reuters started tracking the series back in the year 1981. In fact, China's trade surplus with the United States has widened to nearly about $27.89 billion in the month of May. And this comes as the China-U.S. tensions are again on the rise, though news reports quoting sources say that U.S. President Donald Trump has little choice but to stick with Phase 1 trade deal for now. The Phase 1 trade deal includes cutting some U.S. tariffs on Chinese goods in exchange for Chinese pledges to purchase more of the American farm, energy and manufactured goods and also address, addresses some U.S. complaints about intellectual property practices.